Catalana by Orange Caramel is a perfect song to me, and I'm gonna tell you why. I think because the song is so iconic in K-pop due to its meme ability, people might overlook the way it's actually a really solid song. I think people remember Sushi Mermaid Women in the music video and the shouting during the live stages, but Catalana is really fun to just listen to. Before we get started, the lyrics are kind of a lesbian anthem, you know? Like, you can interpret it however you want, that's totally fine. But it is kind of, in some way, about having a crush on a girl, you know? Anyway, nothing that I say in this video is backed up by music law or studies or any of that. It's just why I think it's a really cool song. From the beat to the lyrics to the really infectious chorus inspired by the Punjabi folk song Juti Meri, Catalana is this attention-grabbing moment in K-pop that's still got its charm. One of the things that's most exciting about Catalana is this galloping percussion. It gives the song such an upbeat, danceable vibe, and it sounds really constant, but it actually changes a lot during the song depending on which section is playing. Yes. In the beginning, it's a very propulsive beat, and then you hear these fluttering balsa claps, and then the synthetic pulse, and the song establishes these staircases of sound in the beat that builds the entire song. The beat will play tug of war with the elaborate, almost Italian strings in the instrumental. The strings are a defining trait of Catalana, and I think it's almost comedic to have such an elegant sound in a song that is so campy and so energetic. All the while, this disco hum acts as the main through line. And it's the push and pull between these elements that makes Catalana really exciting. With so many moving parts in Catalana, I think trying to focus on one only brings out how many others are going on at once. Catalana rides these waves of sound from one musical act to the next and divvies them up against each other in really clever ways. Catalana does things that are comical with such sincerity and catchiness that they become highlights of the song. That A-A-B-B-A -B -B -A rhyme scheme makes it sound a bit like a limerick instead of a pop song. And it sounds so good anyway because parallel syllables are really satisfying to hear. And they fully commit to that jaunty structure in the chorus as well, which is full of these sudden hip checks of sound and sea boat wailing. Catalina honestly sounds a bit like a sea shanty. It has these trance-like melodies broken up by repeated commands and these little quartets of syllables. <laughs> So you get these moments where the music itself reflects both the Punjabi folk inspiration and the song's overall theme about subliminal marketing. Tied in are these bizarre vocal echoes and whispers in the background that are just consistent enough to become a transition between lines. Catalana is a song where every musical element acts as a partner to each other and each one is there to make another sound good. Speaking of which, I've always enjoyed the way Orange Caramel fit together as a subunit. Between the three of them, Catalana vocally rides that delightful edge of deliberately annoying that I actually love. It's whiny and indulgent and mosquito-like at points. It honestly sounds like they're playing anime characters, but the vocal control is so clear and consistent at every stage. Nana has this high baby doll voice that you absolutely buy, but Reina and Lizzie are just a bit deeper than she is, which makes you wonder if they're almost voice acting in this performance, and yet all three of them are so precise about their vocals. Catalana walks that line of amplified cuteness and just good fucking singing so well that the sound of high and saccharine becomes really pleasant to listen to. The squeaky singing style obviously existed before them, but they managed to use it both a bit ironically and objectively well. Catalana is deliberately ironic in many places, but it also understands that irony is meant to emphasize and dramatize a piece, not detract from it. Nana, Reina, and Lizzie sound genuinely awesome on this track, and still nail the campy performance. In many ways, Orange Caramel continues to age well because they help cement many of the K-pop oddities that are now inseparable from the brand. Catalana is a funny and weird song that is also really high quality, and I think people who love K-pop and all of its weirdness enjoy that it's a music scene where bizarre, outlandish styles and high quality music can be synonymous. I think some K-pop fans have tried to divorce K-pop from things like Catalana and Gangnam Style and G without really realizing how smart those songs are. My favorite part in Catalana comes in the second verse. The chorus closes with that vibrant, Italian-sounding trill, and suddenly the really remarkable beat is just stripped out. We're left with just this pulse and this kind of rising humming sound, and then there's a simple clap clap and the beat reintroduces itself in full and it sounds so cool. <laughs> Man, 
There's a full body movement between these two ideas, and it's honestly delicious to listen to. The song really lets you drift in that dramatic pause before hitting you with the wave again. The composition takes a moment to remind you how much the beat grounds the song. I think it's clever for a song like Catalana that is so propulsive to have a weightless moment like that. It makes the beat so much catchier when it stutters and then comes back in full. I like how the song will drop its beat and surround you in this rolling tunnel of sound before escalating the beat once again and jumping full-footed into the next section, just, you know, all in a day's work. The song is full of plants and payoffs that catch your ear without you even noticing it, and that's what makes Catalana so memorable. The humor is just one side to it, and you have this ensemble of elements all moving around together. I think that's why Catalana continues to be so beloved to this day, both by people who like K-pop for its weirdness and people who like K-pop for its music. The big takeaway is you should go listen to Catalana if you haven't today. It really is a perfect song. Music